informed. More instructors are needed to prepare Afghan soldiers and police to take over the security of the country, according to the head of the NATO training mission in Afghanistan. U.S. General William Caldwell said they're still on track to reduce combat forces by 2011, but, as he told Martin Lowe, mentoring support will be needed for years to come. When you look at uh, how the Afghan security forces are performing and the development that's occurring, uh, there will still be a need for mentors and coaches and teachers, uh, but the actual sheer number that we will have by next summer, I think it's reasonable to expect that the conditions could be set that would allow for the reduction in combat forces. Isn't the fear that when NATO forces do pull out, the Afghan army will simply melt away, leaving the country in chaos? Whatever we do, as an international community do in Afghanistan, it's a gradual reduction that we continually assess where we are but that we should continually work to turn over more of the security responsibility to the Afghan security forces. But it doesn't mean we won't continue to coach and teach and mentor them. That, I think, should, we should be prepared to do for several more years. This has come from a standing start. Where are, are the Afghan forces on a, a scale of 1 to 10? We haven't even finished growing the Afghan security forces yet, and that's what some people uh, fail to realize. Today there's about 200,000 security forces, police and army, we're growing to 300,000, and, and once we reach that number in October of 2011, there's going to be a, still a, ongoing assessments whether we need to provide them some more security forces. Eventually, though, will you need to find a political solution rather than a military one? Will you have to do deals with the Taliban? There is no military solution for Afghanistan. It, in fact, is a political one. The only thing the military will be able to do is set the conditions to enable a political solution. Uh, we, the international community, have the greatest military force in the world currently serving in Afghanistan today, but it alone will never win the peace. It requires a political solution.